All right, so as promised, I have my video here showing you how to add news or a DJ to your radio station. For this, you will already have to have followed my previous video on how to add a radio station, and I'll link that here. Now, I know it took a while to make this video, uh, two and a half weeks actually. I don't want to sound like a petty jerk, which I fear I'm going to do. But after I made my radio station video, somebody took it and copied every single step verbatim into their own video. Uh, going as far as to ask me questions that they were getting asked on their video on my video under their own account and a different account after I finally called on. I really didn't want this guy ripping off another video, but I decided that it'd be mean to you guys to not make this video and upload it on account of that. So if he decides to rip off this video, I guess I'll have to make some sort of response video detailing the whole deal, like why you did this and why did you do that. Sorry to give you that bit of a rant on a kind of unrelated video. But with some people, if you don't call them out on something they do, they become repeat offenders. And I, I just frankly don't want that, so. Now I'll just get into the video and spare you guys the drama. Okay, you first want your news clips or DJ audio clips um, in your data, sound, FX, MUS, radio, and then the name of your mod as a folder. And I have them right here. There's some Top Gear news clips. They need to be in WAV format, specifically 16-bit uh, PCM WAV. Um, that's the standard format, so you don't really need to worry unless your audio is not playing. Then try to re-encode them in 16-bit PCM. And of course, you want to go ahead and load up the creation kit. So go to File, Data, double-click Follow 4.esm, double-click your mod, set as active file while highlighting your mod, because that's a file we want to edit. Click OK. Okay, when everything's loaded up, you want to go ahead and add your news clips as sound descriptors. And I'm going to add them just like my music, except for the fact that um, with my music here, I changed the static attenuation, which is basically the volume, to negative 12 because it was a little too loud. I noticed with my with clips with just speech in them, I actually have it back at zero. So which is that, that's what I'm going to do for my uh, news clips. So file, right click new, here's your top gear news clip, oh, zero one, and right click under sound, new, find your clips, category, audio category, radio, this does not really matter that much though, output model does matter, so SOM stereo, and as I said, I'm going to leave static attenuation as zero. And I'm going to click OK. And do the same thing for my next audio clip. All right, I have those now. So I'm going to go to Character, Quest, and open up my Radio Quest. And then go to the Scripts tab and right click on my script and Edit Source. I'm going to expand this. And I'm going to add a few things, then go over what I add. OK, so I added three properties, and that is these three properties Cycles Played current news and last news played zero one. Now I only added one last news played property because I only have two news clips. The last news played properties are used by the update news function which is down below. The purpose of the update news function is to record the order in which the news clips were randomized so that once a clip is played a different clip has a chance to play whenever the next bit of news comes on. That means that you need to determine how many news clips you want to play before they start to repeat and add a property for each. So if I have 10 clips of news and I don't want it to repeat for at least five clips, I'd add five last news play properties, obviously changing the number at the end of each. And that will look something like this here that I've highlighted. So I have five last news played properties. Each one has a different number, obviously. So I have last news played 01, 02, 03, 04, and 05. But I only need one, as I was saying earlier, so I can go ahead and delete this bit. So you can see here that I added the property cycles played plus equals one. And what this does is it increments the value of cycles played by one each time the update radio function is called. The update radio function is called each time a song is chosen. And lastly, down here, I added the update news function. Now with the update news function, you want to have as many lines as you have last news played properties. Obviously, each line is going to look a little different. So with five last news played properties, it will look something like this. 
Now what you want to do is take a look at the top left most property and make sure that it is the same as your highest last news played property. So if I had five last news played properties, I'd want to make sure that this is last news played 05. Now I'll add a function with a whole bunch of lines in the description so that you can just delete the lines you don't need or you can comment them out if you like. That tells the Papyrus compiler to ignore whatever line is commented out while compiling the script. And you can do a multi-line comment by hitting uh, semicolon forward slash forward slash semicolon. And that tells the compiler to ignore this bit. Well, this bit. I'm going to go ahead and delete this bit here. Uh, there we go. And when I'm all done, control S or file save. Hopefully you don't get a compilation error. If you do, just let me know. And exit out. Now you're going to want to stay in your quest window, but go over to the scenes tab. And I've renamed my original scene from 00 Radio Sonic Quest Scene 01 to 00 Radio Sonic Quest Song 01. That's because I'm going to add a new scene. I'm going to right click in this area here under Editor ID, click New. Then I'm going to call this, let's see, call this News 01. So Radio Sonic Quest News 01. That way I can differentiate the two scenes. So I'm going to click on Radio Sonic News, my new scene. And in this white space here, right click, new actor, select the transmitter that you made in the first video, the transmitter alias that you made in the first video, which should be the only thing in your quest if you haven't really done anything else other than follow the first video. So click OK. And then add two phases at the beginning, or add phase at end is what it's going to say. And then add a phase for each clip of news you have. I have two and then add one final phase at the end. Now you're going to right click in this white space under your final phase, new action, start scene, and you're going to go ahead under editor ID, right click new and select your song scene. Click OK, click OK. Now you're going to add your news clips in. So I'm going to right click phase three because remember you leave the two phases in the beginning blank for now new action, radio, you don't have to name it but I'll name it, and select sound, select my Top Gear news blip, click OK and do the same thing for the next phase. Alright, when I'm done adding my news clips I'm going to double click the phase box above a particular news clip, click on the start tab, right click, new under conditions, that's going to be get VM quest variable and the parameters box here I'm going to make parameter 2 current news and equal to for the comparison and the value of 1 you want the value to reflect the news clip you're doing this for so I'm doing this for news clip 1 so I want the value to be 1 and then click OK and do the same thing for all your other news clips or your DJ whatever so current news 2 for my second news clip I want it to be equal to 2 click OK and now under phase two, I'm going to right click and add a new radio action. Then under info, I'm going to right click new, double click that, hit a space here so that this box doesn't pop up again. Click OK, check random and add a new condition. Right click new under conditions, condition function, get VM quest variable. For parameter two, I want that to be last news played zero one click OK and I want the comparison to be unequal and because I'm doing this for song or news clip 1 I want the value to be 1 if you're doing this for news clip 2 make the value 2 3 make a 3 and so on and so forth click OK okay and you want to do this for each last news played variable that you have so if I had five last news played variables I'd go ahead and create a new condition for each one changing the variable here to last news played 0 2 0 3 and 0 4 05, but I'd make sure the comparison remained unequal and the value reflected the news clip I was doing this for, which is 1. Down here, I'm going to check Run Fragment, and I'm going to make sure KMY Quest is my quest script. Then I'm going to type some fragments in here KMY Quest dot current news equals, and I want that to be equal to the news clip I'm doing this for, so I'm doing this for news clip 1 equal to 1, then kmyquest.update news 
parentheses, then KMY quest dot cycles played, and you always want that to be equal to zero. So I click compile here, click OK, and then I do this again for the news clips I have. So if you have five, do it five times, then I have my two responses for my two news clips. Click OK. Now I'm going to go over to my song scene under phase two, double click the action box here, right click, new, hit a space here, oops, space there, just so this box doesn't pop up again. Check random, and under conditions here, I'm gonna right click new, condition function, get VM quest variable, click the parameters box, make sure parameter number two is cycles played, and the comparison is greater than, and for the value, you want it to be how many songs you want to play before it even thinks about playing a news clip. So I want it to play two songs before it even thinks about playing a news clip. So I'll make that value two. Click OK. Not going to add any fragments here. Instead, you're going to go over to Start Scene and select the New Scene. And then I'm going to click OK. So Phase 2 randomly decides which song to play. But you can see here, if it randomly chooses this response, it starts the news scene and plays some news. So basically right now I have a one in six chance after two songs are played, don't forget because we added this condition here, I have a one in six chance of it selecting the news. But if I wanted to increase those odds, I'd add another response here identical to this one. And when I'm done adding these two responses, you can add as many as you like to increase the odds that your news plays after you meet the minimum song requirement. I click OK and you can see here if you have show scene links checked. If you don't have it, check it, click OK, then go back into the radio station and you should see these links here. And you can see that the two responses we just added point to the news scene. And I'll click OK. I'm going to save and I'm actually all done. Now, if you have any questions, you can, of course, put them in the comments. Uh, I know that there's a lot of steps in these videos. And, of course, those are opportunities to make mistakes and make typos and so on and so forth. So if you run into anything, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you. Thanks for watching.